What's going on everybody? This is Nick from House of Paint 203, bringing you part one of the Kraken series. We are following up the Tarask project with arguably an even bigger, more involved project in the Kraken, but it is gonna be a ton of fun. A Kraken is considered another gargantuan monstrosity in the monster manual, and we are going to paint him. But before we do, just a friendly reminder to smite like and slam subscribe so that you can stay up to date on all the latest content that I am putting out there in my quest to paint the manual. Let's get started. And so as you saw in the unboxing video, um, well, if, if you've seen the unboxing video, you know. Um, if you haven't seen the unboxing video, um, I suggest going to check it out real quick. Um, so if you're interested in painting the crack in yourself, you know, that's what you're going to be getting out of the box. And so what I have here is the Kraken, the main pieces of the Kraken. I, I don't have the boat in front of me right now. But the Kraken comes with the main figure, as you can see right in the middle here, and the six tentacles. Now, the main figure of the Kraken, the reason why he's kind of propped up against the, the um, coffee mug here is because he does not balance very well, uh, but luckily he does have that really beautiful um, water base that he can be inserted into to make it look like he's shooting up out of the uh, out of the ocean. So we are going to be getting started here with the uh, the main figure and the tentacles. So I'm going to be using a heavy brown to start bringing those out. Um, I'm also going to be using kind of a reddish, almost crustacean-y type of effect to bring it up. Because if you look in the monster manual, um, let me show you the monster manual here. If you look in the monster manual, the image that you get in the monster manual here of the, of the Kraken is, you can see, Definitely has like some kind of reddish kind of lobster-esque coloration on his back. And I'm also going to be um, toying with a kind of color shift metal um, on parts of his body as well. I don't know how, how into that I'm going to get, but... Um, I am going to be trying that as well. So a lot of stuff to do, but before we do anything, we have to base coat. So let's jump in there on base coating. All right, so to start off, we're going to hit the main figure here with heavy brown. And I have... thinned it out and diluted it, so...
Go ahead and do the same thing on all the tentacles. Again, there's six tentacles. These tentacles are, are going to be getting a base coat of heavy brown, just like the Kraken did with um, thin coats. I don't want to apply it on too thick. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do a coat on all the tentacles, and then I'll see you when I'm done. All right, so with the tentacles dry or drying, I'm going to go ahead and work on the rubber base that the Kraken actually comes in here. So, or not comes in, but um, goes into, I suppose, when, when he's done and ready for the table, he will go into this base here. Just got to find the, the right situation, I guess. I guess he's like that. Yeah, we'll go with that. Yeah, that's right. So it comes out. He's like, surprise! Yeah, he goes right into here, which is great. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start giving a little base on this. So I'm going to do some inks on here. This is a clear plastic piece. Um, kind of got a little rubberness to it. It's kind of got a, a little rubber vibe going. So I'm going to get that ready to go and uh, start painting that. I'm start off with my big brush here and grabbing some green ink and just start giving it a coat kind of along the kind of along the bottom here. And it's, it's gonna take a few coats to really adhere. See here, you get that kind of nice, like kind of translucent glow with um, with that ink. And I'm actually going to take that blue now. And I'm going to start to incorporate that blue in here with the green. Kind of just see what happens. That is going to take a while to dry. And while it is doing so, I think I'm going to go back into the Kraken and work on the tongue. Right, as a base coat on the Kraken's tongue, I'm going to use a little bit of ruddy skin.
get some rosy skin up in his gums, his gum line here. Go with the eyes here now. I'm gonna go with a little orange ochre. So that's where we are on the Kraken. The base isn't super dry, but the base coat on the main figure, I would say, is pretty. Uh, pretty solid here. Just looking them over for anything that stands out. I think in part two, what I'm going to be doing is giving the main figure a wash and also um, start to apply a mid tone. I do want to do some crustacean type effects um, on his back. His depiction in the Monster Manual, he definitely has some kind of crustacean-y looking effects going on, at least on his back. So definitely want to incorporate that. I also have a pretty cool um, color shift metal that I want to kind of put around him. I mean, it's not going to make him look like a like a metallic figure, instead it'll really just, um, you know, kind of add like, almost like a barnacle-y looking type of feature to him. So, um, this is definitely still in the early stages, but I think we're off to a good start. So as always, I thank you for joining me. Information on how to follow me on all my social media platforms is immediately following the video, as is information on how to follow Dominic Marriott of Credit UK and Mike Donnarumo of MVD Studios. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you for the next one.